there is new advanced, more precise, amazing way to control colors in Lightroom and Photoshop via Adobe Camera. And now I will teach you how to do it. We are here in Lightroom. The version is 13.0.0 with Camera 16.0. So we have this beautiful black woman on a yellowish orange background. And for example, if you want to change the background, previously you would go to Color Mixer right here and you just go right here and click on the color and okay, you want to change it to something. But you notice that we are changing both the skin and a little bit of the hair here and also the earring here, etc. There are a lot of things. We want to change only the background. And now there is a new amazing way to do it using point colors. And you can do a lot of things with this. We'll just scratch the surface. So using this point sampler, sample the tone that you want to change. So for example, this one right there. And now if you go down here, you have this cool menu. So first of all, we have this small point right there. This is the sampled color, the color that we choose from the photo. And this circle right here represents the color that will be replaced by the one that we set. So basically by moving left or right, we are choosing the hue. Up and down, we are choosing the saturation. And with this bar right here, we are choosing the lightness. Okay, currently this is the current lightness where the dot is. Okay, and now you can see there are also the sliders here. I prefer to move this instead of going here. But if we move any of these sliders and want to change color, we are still affecting the skin. And here we have a range slider where the magic happens. We can check here visualize range and everything that is black and white will not be affected, only colored stuff will be affected. So if we drop down the range a little bit, see what happens here. If we are going down, we are narrowing the colors that we're using. And if you go all the way down with the range, we are still affecting a little bit of the skin. But now we have this drop down menu here. And this is where the real magic happens. We can set the range of the hue of the saturation and the luminance. And that's amazing because now, for example, we don't want this darkish brown hue to be affected here. So we can just go with this a little bit up and you can see how nicely we are removing from the skin. And let me show you quickly. This point here is basically a feather. Check out this color here. If I'm moving this all the way to the right, it's making less and less feather and it's harsh edge. If I move this part here, we are still having that really nice feathered effect. So you want to play and move both of these. So for example, I want this to be somewhere here and that then remove this feather part. And this looks pretty decent. We already did a lot. Let me see like that. And if you have a few things here and there, we can go and uh, play with saturation. Maybe we want to, yeah, a little bit of this saturation, not too much because we will affect the background and also luminance because this is dark part here. We want to change it a bit. Let's see. And this is pretty decent. And now if we go and uncheck visualize range and move the slider, you will see that only the background effect is affected, not a skin, not a hair or anything else. So for example, I want to have a little bit of uh, like greenish desaturated tone. And this way I'm making the woman pop up more than from the orange tone. She is a little bit more blended with orange. So this is cool. You can also change the shift of the of the luminance. So whatever you want, I like it this way. One important thing is that all the settings you have up here, exposure, contrast, highlights, etc. Also this tone curve with uh, all the settings there will affect everything that you are doing here. So first, if you want to change anything to the photo, go, go right here. Because now if we change the contrast, see, we changed the contrast before we applied this effect. And now we are basically having let, let's let's hide this, we are basically having different colors here, they're more saturated, more vibrant, and we need to adjust these sliders accordingly. So first, do whatever you want to do with the come on, do whatever you want to do with these sliders above the color mixer, the point color here and then apply that. Okay, this is the first example. Now we'll show you another amazing example. But before we go to that, let me ask you a question. Did you ever lost the data from your memory card or accidentally format the card and all the data are gone? I know the frustration it happened to me so many times. But fortunately, we can recover it like this. And 
we can bring it back using Wondershare Recovery Tool, which is a sponsor for today's episode. Wondershare Recovery is practically a Swiss Army knife of data recovery. It can bring back your precise data from over 2000 storage devices and over 1000 file formats. Whether it's a simple accidental format or system crash or some nasty virus attack, Wondershare Recovery got your back with a high success rate. And for all you photo and video lovers out there, Wondershare Recovery can do something truly amazing. It can recover lost, deleted or deeply hidden videos and photos, even those with Ultra HD, 4K or 8K video footage. Plus, it restores videos and photos of multiple formats from all the popular cameras out there. The recovery process is really simple and easy. All you need to do is to choose from where you want to recover your files. So for example, I want to recover some from my external hard drive. It will start to scan the hard drive and it will really shortly show me, for example, this red trash can is something that I deleted and I can go and choose some folder. So for example, I want this folder and I can preview the file before recovery. And this is the photo that I want to recover. So I will click recover here and it will ask me where I want to recover this file to. It's not recommended to recover on the same hard drive. So I will go for a desktop, for example, click save. And in a matter of a couple of seconds, you will see now the file will be recovered. I can open the folder. It's called trash because it's a trash hand, but this is my file perfectly recovered. No issue at all. And there is one more really cool update in this uh, version 12, and that's improved the quality of RAS scans and added the new supported recovery formats that you can see here on the screen. So why take chances with your data? Click on the link down there in the description and try Wondershare Recovery for free and experience that peace of mind that comes with knowing that your data is safe. Right now, let's go back to the tutorial. So for example, we want to change the hair color of this beautiful model and we will go to point color and sample the hair color like this. And if we go to visualize range, you will see that part of the skin is selected. So we can lower this range slider, but what happens is that also we are lowering the range of the hair that we want to affect and we don't want that. So this is not helpful. Also, if we go right here and change something, maybe saturation. Yeah, we can deselect the skin, but still we are deselecting the this part of the hair. And now if we go, let's uncheck this and change the hair color, you will see that there is some parts that are not really nicely done, especially also this part and this part right here. So fortunately there is a solution for that, but not like this. I will reset this and go right here to the masking option, go to the brush and I will just go with the flow all the way up, maybe size a little smaller, feather it a little bit and I will just mask this. So basically I'm masking the hair right here. I don't care about the background because it's a different color. And now that we made the mask, what we can do is to go all the way down and we have the point color option again in the masking part, which is amazing. Just select the color that you want. You can visualize the color range and uh, yeah, you can play with this, expand it even more if you want. But practically now we can just play with the hair without having the problems with the skin. And this is really cool option. So maybe I want some kind of purple hair or something like this, maybe a little bit darker and that's it. So it's amazing that they implemented in the masking part so you can really nail down your selection and nail down the colors that you want to move. All right, now let me show you another amazing example and that's how to tweak or completely change the colors on your, for example, landscape photos. And this time we will do it in Photoshop. Why not? Let's learn how to do it in Photoshop too. So Control or Command J to make a copy of a layer, right click, convert to smart object. And now I want to go to filter and camera filter. So everything is the same like in Lightroom. We have point color and we have all the same options here. And for example, I want to tweak this yellowish orangey tree into more yellowish, more bright tree. And if you go to old fashioned way, go right here and mm, yeah, it's not that good, the range and everything. So it's much better to use point color. And now if we sample this stone, go to the range here and we have this masking option here and just reduce the hue of the reds and maybe those dark tones like like this a little bit and go back here, push it towards the yellow and more saturated and more bright tones and see how beautiful this is. This is already really cool looking 
yellowish tree. Also, we can do it with the red too. So right here, let's see what we are masking. Yeah, only red trees. I don't want this orangey tone at all. Everything can be like that. And just push it to the left a little bit, more saturation, more brightness. And I really like it. Immediately, this image has more life in it, more vibrant colors. And it's for me, it's a little bit better. So we can see before, it's cool. But after, it's even more vibrant and even more punchy. So this is cool. This is one way how you can use your point color to tweak certain colors on your landscape photos. But now I will show you one really neat trick that maybe, let me show you, maybe this, is, this, this photo is not a good example, I don't know, but uh, the trick is still there. So let's reset this and let's, for example, change this red into the green. So if we go and sample this red tone right here, you can see that there is no green option here. We can push it all the way to the right and yeah, we can again play with the range and uh, we don't want uh, maybe these tones and so on and so forth, but it doesn't matter. So what matter is to change this to the green and we cannot do anything else. We can push it there or there, nothing else. But if you go right here and type 200 instead of 100, again, we cannot do anything because wah, see the option, we cannot do more than 100. So how to do it? Well, now comes that really neat trick. All you need to do is to sample the same color one more time. And now see, we have that green tone and we can again set the range here a little bit. Mm. Yeah, we can just set it like that and push it towards the green. And now we have that green. Also, if we want even more green, we can sample again that tone and go with even more green and you can go up to eight samples here and you can desaturate and do whatever you want. Maybe this is not that good example because of these colors, etc. But uh, yeah, I just want to show you that you can do that. So you can push these even more towards the, the green tones and have something like this. And it's crazy different result before and after, before and after. And if you want to tweak it even more, you can go back to Photoshop and tweak it here even more using some adjustment layers. So the point color option is amazing new tool, both in Lightroom and Photoshop camera, because it gives you so many opportunity to tweak the colors in the way that you couldn't do it before without going into Photoshop and masking and doing certain things with, uh, other adjustment layers. And if you want to do everything just in Lightroom, now you can have even more control. All right, guys, if you like this video, press the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe in case you're not ready. And if you like this one, you're sure going to like this one here. See you in my next tutorial. Bye bye.